third-person singular pronouns can be contentious because third-person singular pronouns in English are gendered. But there's also something marvelous about pronouns in English that can be liberating to remember. Hi, this is Thomas from Cozy Grammar, and I've been rereading Sam Hamill's translation of the Tao Te Ching. The Tao Te Ching turns our attention beyond words, using words. And it reminds me of something that lies beyond words in English. The third person singular pronouns he and she can be touchy because of different cultural ideas about gender and who we are. What I'd like to point out though is that only third person pronouns in English are gendered. First person and second person pronouns are not. This means that you and I are beyond gender, as all of us ultimately are. When you and I talk, all that really matters is who you and I are on the inside. What is your experience with first person and second person pronouns? Feel free to share your experience with us in a comment or through our website, cozygrammar.com. I will look forward to hearing from you.